Hello again, everybody. It is Friday, March 27th, and we are going to do some vocal warm ups. Woohoo! One, we need to make sure that we are ready to go. Have a good space where you can make a little noise and not disturb anybody, or everybody can do it together. So, first thing you need to do is sit on the floor nice and relaxed. Or you can sit on a chair, I guess. I'm on a chair. So, floor, chair, wherever you want to be. Even if you want to stand, I guess that's energy going up, right? So, Big eyes for me, really big eyes. Lift your eyebrows and now make your face really small. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Now make your face really big. Open that mouth. Good, now really small. And really big. And really small. At last I'm really big. Now move your face all around. Blink your eyes. Move your mouth, move your nose all around. Good, good, I like it. Now, take your middle finger. Find the hinge of your jaw right there where your jaws come together and massage it nicely. Oh, that feels good. Remember what I always say, we use our jaw all day long. We eat, we chew gum, we talk, but we're not often very nice to it. Oh good, that feels very nice. I like it. Good. Now take your tongue, put it at the back of your bottom teeth, like this. And I want you to push it in and out. Good, that's warming up your tongue. Do it again for me. Ah, very nice. Keep moving your face around when you have a second. In between things, yeah? Make it nice and warm. Good. And now that tongue's going to go back in your mouth. And I want you to do those weird things that you can do. I can curl my tongue. I bet a lot of you can too. If you'll do that for me. Good. Move it side to side. Go to the side of your mouth. Side of your mouth. Front. Down. Back. Down. High. High. Very nice. Good. Tongue's all warm. Remember what you do to make sure that we don't spit anybody. Because we don't want to do that. Put your hand in front of your mouth. Like this. Okay, and you're going to blow the raspberries. Remember what blowing the raspberries is? Sometimes people call it a Bronx cheer. You're gonna put it right in front of your mouth so you don't spit on anybody or anything. Ready, go. Yeah, ooh, I spit on my computer, gross. Yay, I'm gonna clean it up in a minute, don't worry. And I'm the only one who's using it right now. So, your tongue is warm, right? Keep moving your face all around. Good, I like it. And let's make sure that our lips are warm. So we're going to blow through our lips, taking a nice deep breath. And it's like you do a motorboat or a horse. Those of us who don't know what blowing through our lips is, that's what it is. So take a nice deep breath and blow through your lips. Very nice. Take another deep breath. We're going to do it again. Go. Now add some highs and lows in your voice to that. Ready? And one more time and use all of your breath. Here we go, highs and lows. Wow, if you're anything like me, you're gonna need to get, well, one, a napkin for my face, and two, I'm gonna need to wipe off this whole computer screen when I'm done with a nice, a uh, Clorox wipe or something like that. That is not an ad for Clorox, by the way. Just a wipe. You can use any disinfectant wipe to wipe everything off and make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, your lips should be nice and warm. Your face should be nice and warm. Your tongue should be ready to go. So if you will repeat after me, I'll give you some room in between. We're going to do some of our tongue twisters and sayings that we do. Yellow Lily. Yellow Lily Dales. Miles of yellow lily dales. Miles and miles of yellow lily dales. Miles and miles of brilliant yellow lily dales. Miles and miles of brilliant brindled yellow lily dales. Very nice, good. So make sure that you are using your lips 
using your teeth, enunciating. Sorry, if you see me looking away, it's only because I'm looking at my dog. She's out in the middle of the yard, so I keep looking at her. And maybe later in the week or through the weekend, I will post something about my animals that's not specific to class, because y'all hear me talk about them all the time. I might as well put them out here, right? So, um, Holly, I almost said Lily. You know why, because I just said yellow Lily. Holly is out in the middle of the yard. Nate's trying to talk to me, so we're gonna have to pause for just one moment, okay? I will be right back with ya. And we're continuing, and I'm so sorry we had somebody come to the door. We have a foundation guy at my house. Ask your parents about that. No fun, no fun. But I'm home, so we might as well do it. Okay, so back to what we were doing. We were doing our, our tongue twisters and repeating after me, yes? And we are going to really use our teeth and our lips and our tongue to enunciate and speak clearly. So try and hit your consonants for me. Try and really round out your vowel sounds for me, okay? And so our next one is one of my favorites from the Mikado. That's a musical by Gilbert and Sullivan. And um, it's kind of a fun one. It's set in Japan, and believe it or not, I actually was in that musical. I don't look very Japanese, right? Um, I am not of Japanese descent, but used to be that we used actors of whatever, right? Whatever background to do any of the roles in any of the shows. So I actually was in the Mikado playing a Japanese girl. So sometime I'll share pictures with you. But right now, we're just gonna do our, our warm up and our um, tongue twister. So repeat after me. Sorry, I had to pause again because we had people come in again. So here we go. What a to-do to die today. At a minute or two till two. A thing distinctly hard to say. But harder still to do. For they'll beat a tattoo at 20 till two with their rat-a-tat-tat and a tat a tat -tat and the dragon will come when he hears the drum at a minute or two till two today. At a minute or two till two. Awesome, way to go. Okay, last one, and this is a hard one. We're gonna be working on our TH sounds and our F sounds and our S sounds. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Ooh, Theophilus Thistle the successful thistle sifter in sifting a sieve full of unsifted thistles thrust 3,000 thistles through the thick of his thumb. Now if Theophilus Thistle, the successful thistle sifter in sifting a sieve full of unsifted thistles thrust 3,000 thistles through the thick of his thumb, see that thou, in sifting a sieve full of unsifted thistles, thrust not 3,000 thistles through the thick of thy thumb. Success to the successful thistle sifter. So, that was awesome, you guys. My challenge to you, especially my upper levels, is to learn Theophilus Thistle by memory and to share a video with me, this is fourth, fifth, and sixth levels, of you saying Theophilus Thistle with no mistakes, okay? And I would love to hear it about this pace. Theophilus Thistle, the successful thistle sifter, in sifting a sieve full of unsifted thistles, thrust 3,000 thistles through the thick of his thumb. Now, if Theophilus Thistle, the successful thistle sifter, in sifting a sieve full of unsifted thistles, thrust 3,000 thistles through the thick of his thumb, see that thou, in sifting a sieve full of unsifted thistles, thrust not 3,000 thistles through the thick of thy thumb. Success to the successful thistle sifter. If you can do that, I'm gonna be really impressed. Share that with me if you can, please. I would love to watch. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the vocal warm up, and we will see you later.